Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going over all things that I think will be in update 17 part 3 in Blocks Fruits. So if you haven't already, like and subscribe and let's get straight into it. So at the moment I've got a list of 18 things that could possibly be coming to Blocks Fruits update 17 part 3. Most of these are definitely coming, some are just my speculations because of some images I have seen. So without further ado, the first thing I know that's going to be added is Doe Awakening. That's why I'm using Doe right now. Everyone knows that Doe will be awakened in the next update, so that's just a given now. The second thing is the Rubber Awakening slash Rework. In the sneak peek video and in Rip Inja's Twitter, there are some images and videos of what I can assume is rubber being either awakened or reworked. I'm not entirely sure, but I hope it's an awakening. The next thing that I know is coming is leopard fruit. That was in the sneak peek video. It, I didn't see its moves, I or I don't remember them but I hope it's a pretty good fruit. The next two things are both awakenings or reworks, I'm not entirely sure, and that is the spike fruit and the chop fruit. The chop fruit, you get like spinny attacks, I think it's an awakening, and the spike fruit, you, you're just like a giant spike ball. Bigger than that, probably like this big or bigger. So I'm excited for those two. The next thing are two swords. The first one is the CDK or Cursed Jewel Katanas, which are Yama and Toshida like combined. I think you might need to do a puzzle or something. I'm not entirely sure. And then Soul Guitar. Both of these were in the sneak peek video and the Cursed Jewel Katana, there's a picture on Rip Inja's Twitter about it. The next thing is Superhuman V2. I've gone over this in my previous video, so if you want a more in-depth view at that, I've got some images of that there and I'll talk about what I think's happening, but it looks pretty solid to me. I think they're also reworking some magma skills because magma is shown in the sneak peek video and also a picture of it on the Twitter with giant magma arms giving you a, I don't know, flaming hug or something. And also some other reworked fruits like Dark, Quake and Flame. I'm not entirely sure if all of those or other fruits as well may be reworked, but I know Dark is. I'm pretty sure some, at least some of the flame moves are, and I'm not entirely sh certain about Quake, but I think it may be there as well. The next thing is the new puzzle. That might be either t for the Cursed Jewel Katanas or for really special sword. I'm not entirely sure about that, but I can't wait to figure out how to do the puzzle. That would be really fun. Also, there's some reworked sword animations and abilities. I go over them in my previous video, just like the Superhuman V2. I'll explain that sort of stuff there. But here are some quick images about them. Another thing is the reworked dashes and animations. So instead of just doing this dash each direction, see I'm going left and right and backwards, and they all look like I'm dashing forward, there's some animation changes where I'm going uh, actual direction that I'm going, but in the animation, and some new jump and landing animations. The next thing is the new look for C's, and by C's I mean right here, because at the moment it's pretty boring. Like, look at that. So they'll be adding waves, or at least visual effects, for the ocean. So that would be fun to spice up the ocean. The next thing is a new look for fruit. Instead of the plain old blocky fruit, it'll be cooler, they'll look much better, have more rounded edges, and just overall look better. And considering it's a new update, I'm pretty sure that there'll be at least a new island and at least a new level cap. 
So I'm thinking maybe it will go up to 2,500 and another island after the sweet islands or sugar islands. I don't know what they're called. But that's about everything. If I missed anything or if you think something else might be added, like, subscribe, goodbye.